Hey everybody, so today I want to show you guys my wild neocaridina shrimp. Um, these guys are really cool. Um, just to um, clear up any confusion, they are not ghost shrimp. Um, they are neocaridina shrimp, so they are related to cherry shrimp, uh, blue dreams, all the other different uh, neocaridina variations that are out there. Um, and these guys here in Hawaii are very common. Um, a lot of stores sell them as feeder shrimp. Um, and they are very common in our streams and uh, rivers and different waterways. Um, a lot of people will just go out and catch them and use them as uh, feeders. But yeah, these guys are very common. They have a uh, big population in our uh, different waterways. All right, so like I said, these guys um, are commonly used as uh, feeder shrimp, but I like to use them as algae eaters. Um, and I think that they do a pretty good job of uh, eating algae, uh, more specifically hair algae. Now, um, if I have a tank that, uh, or an aquascape that has a lot of algae, I will often throw some of these guys in and uh, they you know, will do a pretty good job cleaning up the algae. Um, here in Hawaii, a mono shrimp are illegal, so I kind of use these guys as kind of like a replacement for a mono shrimp. I know a lot of people elsewhere will use um, or you know would use a mono shrimp to you know uh, clear up some algae but uh, since those are illegal here I guess this is our alternative and yeah they do a pretty good job um, also if I have plants like I have some boost here um, that has some uh, hair algae as you can see um, I will throw um, you know those plants into uh, this tank and the shrimp will start swarming it and uh, start climbing on it and as you can see they are taking care of the algae problem um, as I speak right now, so um, good job shrimp keep up the algae work But yeah, I have a decent amount of uh, shrimp in here and they are very um, Easy to breed. I started keeping these guys more recently, so I don't have any fry to show you um, But uh, yeah, they are fairly easy to breed um, because I mean they are neocaridinas, right? Um, I don't think I will have a lot of babies in this tank um, anyways because I have my uh, uh, for Kapta Sudamugios, and I also have some, uh, uh, let's see, where am I? Kill yeah, I'm a killifish um, in here, so uh, they will probably eat the babies, but uh, still, um, you know, they do a good job with algae control. As you can see, they are just, uh, you know, controlling the algae on my boost here, so I'm super happy with that. Um, and yeah, these guys are really, uh, really cool, um, you know, as you saw with um, these guys you know you can see they're fighting over a piece of uh, flake so yeah they eat almost anything they are um, they are a good scavenger um, just like any other shrimp you know they'll clean the bottom of your tank with any you know um, they'll eat any um, food that hasn't been eaten so yeah they are a good scavenger or cleanup crew um, for any tank and I like them and I like them for any of my aquascapes that don't have puffer fish of course um, but yeah no they do a good job and uh, a lot or some of them actually will have kind of like a nice pattern so you know it's not all clear like this one uh, yeah kind of has some different striping going on um, so they look really nice or some of them look pretty cool but yeah I can definitely do more videos on um, this shrimp uh, I just wanted to see if you guys would uh, like them or enjoy seeing them but if you guys do let me know down below in the comment section um, and yeah, with that said, uh, leave a like, hit that subscribe button if you guys are not subscribed already to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.